Okay, so in this video, we're going to take a look at um, this idea um, of circles inscribed in regular polygons and circumscribed about regular polygons. So the first thing that we need to remember is that when we take a look at one of these, um, the radius of the inscribed circle, so this is the circle that's inside this hexagon, A, B, C, D, E, F, is the same as the apothem of the inscribed circle. So radius inscribed circle equals the apothem of the polygon. Okay, and then the radius of the polygon, well, if you look at it, G is the center of that circumscribed circle, the circle that's outside. Well, B is on that circle. So GB is the radius of the circle, but it's also the radius of the polygon. So the radius of circumscribed circle, or what we call a circumcircle, equals the radius of the polygon. So you need to really keep this in mind when you're doing these problems. So we might have a problem like this. Find the area of um, these shaded regions. And we could be given anything um, and so we got these three different shaded regions and we could be given anything um, um, and so let's just go ahead and say that we're given the radius of the polygon is six and this is a um, hexagon now I, you could do i'm going to use trig on this one um, in my calculator, but you could do, you know, this one we've done something similar to this because we can find the area of a hexagon using other methods, but I'm going to use the trig way. I just picked a hexagon because it's kind of easy to see and work on, but the, the method's going to be the same no matter what polygon we use. So it, to do this, we first recognize that we're going to have the polygon minus the circle, the in circle. Um, and so you might you might actually say circle small, right? The small circle, or however you want to write it. Here I'm not saying small circle. And if you do that, right, the inscribed circle, you're going to get all these six regions that are between the polygon and the circle. And so since I want two of them, I need to multiply that times two sixths or one third. Then I'm going to look at the big circle. And I'm going to subtract away from the big circle, the polygon. And I only wanted one of those regions, so I'm going to multiply it by one-sixth. Well, the polygon is going to be one-half AP. And so one-half times the apothem times the perimeter, which I don't know. I need the um, uh, area of the small circle, so I'm going to need the radius of the small circle, which is also going to be the apothem. And so it's pi r squared. So that squared times pi. And then for the um, this one, I, I'm just going to do the same thing. Now, the, for this one, I do know, since the radius of the um, polygon is the same as the radius of the outside circle, that's going to be the um, area of the circle is just going to be pi r squared, or 36 pi, minus the polygon, which the polygon, remember, is 1 half AP. So what do I need to know here? I need to know the apothem. Apothem is going to go here. It's going to go here because it's the radius of that small circle inside. And then it's going to go here. And then I need to know the perimeter, which will go here and here. So this is where the trig comes into play. So we know in a regular hexagon, this angle is 60 degrees. And so I need the apothem and half the side length. So to get the apothem, we're going to say sine of 60 equals A over 6. So the apothem turns out to be 6 sine 60. And so I can put that in here for the apothem. 6 sine 60, 6 sine 60, 6 sine 60. So now you can see how close I am to being done. All I need to know is the perimeter. Well, the perimeter is just going to be 12 times this value of x, right? There are six sides. x is half of a side. So I've got 12 of those x's all the way around the polygon. And so I'm going to do cosine of 60 equals x over 6. And so that means that x is going to be 
6 cosine 60. And then, as I said, I need to multiply that by 12. So 6 times 12 is 72. So the perimeter just turns out to be 72 cosine 60. And so now all I need to do, and I'm not going to go through and do this now in my calculator, is type all of this stuff into my calculator, and I come up with an answer for the area um, uh, of the shaded regions that are inside polygon and outside the inscribed circle and outside the polygon and inside the circumcircle. So remember this. This is how you know how these things are connected. Uh, the problems sometimes seem more more intimidating than they actually are, as long as you can keep track of, the, you know, usually there's only a couple things that you actually have to go through and calculate.